Welcome back guys, this is the third part of the React.js and Redux tutorial with real life examples. In this part we are going to use Redux with one of the products from Creative Team and use what we've learned in the last two parts. Let's begin. You can download for free Paper Dashboard React from our website or you can download it from GitHub or you can clone it from GitHub. I'm going to clone it from GitHub as follows. Git clone and paste the link. Enter. Now let's cd into it like so. cd paper dashboard react. Let's run npm install and npm start. And here we have it. Let's take a look at the right menu and what it does. By pressing the first two colors, the dark and the light ones, the background color of the left menu is changing. By pressing the colors below the first two, the font color of the left menu links are changing as we can see. Right now the flow of these components is as follows. Both of these menus are children of a bigger component that has two state props. One is for the background color and one is for the font color of the left menu. Both of these state props are passed to both menus since in the left menu we want to know which color to set and in the right menu we want to know which one is set. Next thing in the component that these two menus are rendered, we have two functions, one for changing the state for the active background and one for changing the active font color. These two functions for changing the state are then passed to the right menu. And when clicking on the first two colors, we call the function for changing the parent state for the active background. And by pressing the other five colors, we call the function for changing the parent state of the active font color. What we are going to use Redux in this app is for those exact two states and functions. We are going to move the parent states inside the Redux store and the two functions will be moved inside their own action creators. So this being said, let's begin the transformation. Close the server, npm install, save, react, redux, redux. Now we need the action creators. mkdir src actions. touch src actions set bg action dot js touch src action set color action dot js now the code for the set bg action is going to be const set bg action equal a narrow function with payload as parameter that returns an object with type of bg change and the given payload export default set bg action Let's copy this code and paste it inside the set color action and change the set bg action to set color action and type to color change. Now we need the reducer. Like in the first part, we say mkdir src reducers and touch src reducers root reducer.js. And the code for it export default an arrow function with state and action as parameters switch action type case pg change return the old state and the new bg color prop of action payload a new case of color change return the old state and the new active color of action payload and for default return the given state as you can see, in the last part, we haven't done this. We were not saving the old state, and that was because we only had one prop in that state, the rotate prop. But now we have two props in the state object. We have one named BG color and one named color change. When we change the state of either one of these, we want to keep the other one unaltered. So that is what we've wrote in both of these return objects. We've used the spread operator on the state parameter. We also need the store, so touch src store.js. The code for it, just like in the first part, import create store from Redux, 
import root reducer from reducers root reducer. Function configure store state equal bg color black active color info. Return create store root reducer state. Export default configure store. Now we need to add the provider and the store inside index.js. So import provider from React Redux, import configure store from store. And in the render method, provide store equal configure store and close the provider. Now we have to delete those states and functions that I've talked to you about at the beginning of this part. So we go inside layouts dashboard dashboard, delete the whole constructor, delete the functions for changing the state, delete the state props from the left menu, delete the states and function props from the right menu. Now we need these two components to be connected to our store. So we go inside the sidebar and add. Import connect from React Redux. Then const map state to props function with state parameter and return of that state object. And now we need to export this component with the connect function and map state to props as parameter. In the other menu, fix plugin, we say import connect from React Redux and import set bg action from actions set bg action and the set color action from actions set color action. At the end of the file, we need const map state to props state state const map dispatch to props dispatch set bg action payload dispatch set bg action of payload and set color action the same connect map state to props map dispatch to props of fixed plugin Now we need to change this.props.handleBGClick to this.props.setBGAction. And this.props.handleActiveClick to this.props.setColorAction. Now let's start again the server and see if it still works the same. And here we have it, it works as expected. In the next part, we'll talk about multiple reducers. See you there.